welcome back to PAX Universe. We just wanted to jump in real quick and show you a quick little tutorial slash and tell you the differences between normal couplings and transitional couplings. So the biggest difference is the problem that you run into. Normally if you have an older house or you have a setup to where you have two different types of pipes that you need to connect, you can't just use a normal coupling to do so. Say you have copper to PVC or maybe even cast iron to PVC or cast iron to copper. Whatever it is, if you put a normal coupling on there and tighten it down, since the coupling is made for the same diameter on both sides, it'll start to warp. Once it starts warping, you can't create a watertight seal or an airtight seal. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right coupling for the right job. That's where these transitional couplings will come in though. When you look at a transitional coupling, it'll tell you on here from one and a half, you know, say copper or plastic to one and a half copper or cast iron or whatever you're looking for. But you can tell that on the inside of here, one side is thinner and one side is thicker. That's to make up for the difference in the diameter between the copper where you can see it's a smaller diameter versus the PVC. Even though they're both one and a half inches, it doesn't mean that they're both the same size on the outside. So where these come in is once you slide them on and you tighten them a little bit, you're able to get it to where it's tightening without warping. But since this doesn't tell us where our pressure is at, we're going to go until it's nice and firm and doesn't want to spin anymore, but we're also not trying to break the screw. You do have options to get a clamp torque wrench. When you get to 60 pounds of pressure, instead of it continuing to turn, it'll click on you, and that's how you know to stop. When you're looking at the difference in diameter, you can tell that this side has a thicker wall compared to this side, which has a thinner wall. That's because the PVC that you're connecting to, or maybe even the cast iron, it has a thicker diameter than the copper on the outside, even though they're both one and a half inch on the inside. And that's where this coupling is able to come in handy because it'll make up for the difference in that outer wall here. And it works for all sizes. If you understand it for one, you understand it for all. This side is thicker, this side is thinner. That's to make up for either the cast iron to the PVC or the PVC to the copper, however your plumbing situation is set up. Other than that, you know, it is still just a coupling. So you want to make sure that you're connect connecting them tightly and that there's no warpage going on. If you do have any other questions though, please send us a message or leave a comment below. If you found this video to help you out in any way, please just leave us a like and subscribe and also click that notification bell. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.